updated. I'm gonna do another video of my eyelashes. The only difference is I have a different adhesive today because the one that I had used previously, it worked really well, maybe a little too well because it was really hard to take off when it came time that I was over them and in removing them I broke a lot of my lashes. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from eyelash extensions and let my eyelashes grow back and they have done that. So I got a new different adhesive, um, which I will link below and I will try that and then we'll see how that goes. Alrighty. So the new lash adhesive that I got is from Lion Lash. They said they um, launched it last month so it's not available on Amazon right now. I was a little bit nervous after I realized that um, I bought it and I bought the last one. So then I tried to, I was going to return it because I was like, okay, I kind of seem like this is a little scammy. There's no more reviews, the item was removed, but I contacted them and yeah, they told me they just launched it, they're restocking and to let them know how I like it. So if my eyeballs fall out, then you know not to use it. And this is why you watch other people do it, so that your eyeballs don't fall out. Alright. <laughs> so the first thing that you will want to have is your curved tweezers and then your straight one. This one is for the separating, separating of the lashes and then this one is to actually place the lashes. And I did get new eyelashes because the last ones I used were actually not me. They were silk. And these ones are actually mink. So, this is the ones I got just on Amazon. Mink lashes. Um, thickness is 0.15 millimeters. The curl is CC. And then there's just a mix of different lengths 8 millimeters all the way to 15. And last time I used 10, 11, and some nines. So I think maybe I'll try to go a little bit longer just so it's a little more dramatic for you guys to see something a little bit different. And I haven't done a little bit longer, so it'll be a good experience for me as well. So I'm still going to prime my lashes and I uh, will use my same primer. This time instead of using a wand, I will use a little Q-tip. And you just want to clean all the oils off of the eyelash so that your adhesion is better and it lasts longer. Another tip is I already took a shower and had my workout for the day so that I don't plan to get these wet for 24 hours. The next thing that you want to have ready is, of course, your ring, and I keep it away. I don't keep it on my finger. I attach it to something in front of me, and then I just dip as I go. And then the tape to tape down the outer light lashes, which I'll show you guys. And then um, I also use the tape to help hold these down on the back of my hand while I am applying. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys. So. The first thing I will do is tape down my outer lashes. I'm not so worried about the inside corners. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't use the pads. Um, I've tried them and I actually have a whole bunch now. But it really irritates my eye and I feel like it's, uh, it doesn't allow me to blink normally so my eye waters even more. I think in my last video I actually did like eight. 10s and 11s and 9s and 10s on the edges. I actually don't like the fanning look where it gets longer, kind of like longer in the middle, taper down on both sides. Alright, so the first thing, I don't have too much light in here, show you my natural lashes again. So I had to let them grow out a little bit, especially on this eye, they broke a lot because that's the one I was removing the eyelashes first and I was kind of trying to rush it and the adhesive remover, if it gets in your eye, it burns. So do not get it in your eye. It will not be comfortable. But then if you do, just rinse it out really fast. And then this one, um, I was a little bit more careful with so not as much fell out, but I feel like most of them have grown back.
then also I've learned before you actually get started you want to kind of practice separating some of the lashes with your hand because when I go in there at first my eye doesn't know what to do and it twitches a lot so maybe a couple of minutes just getting your eye used to having the tweezers next to them and then it's not so sensitive. I'll show you how to apply this. So you really want to shake this, get it all mixed up. This is my first time opening it. Just gonna do a little bit. I think you have 90 working minutes with it in this little ring, and then it's uh, one to two seconds of drying time. Okay, so I have this ready. I have my tape ready. I'm going to start with this eye first, and then I'm going to do tens and thirteens. 12s and I'll throw some random 14s in there too maybe. So this is what it's like. I have my little ring set up here with just a few drops and then I have my tweezers ready and all my lashes are primed and ready to go. And so I said these are actual mink lashes and I could immediately feel the difference. And the ones about um, the ones and I will link these lashes below. The very, very tips of them actually kind of split in two, and I think, honestly, I don't think you'd be able to see that in the camera, but it just gives it more feathery look, so I'm kind of excited for that. Alright, let's get started. So I kind of like doing um, the middles of the lash first, and then kind of work both ways, um, just because when people are actually getting eyelash extensions, I think they switch eyes to allow drying time and kind of to keep it even, but I'm unable to do that because I need one eye that is always functional in case I were to get adhesive or something in one eye, so, which I haven't done yet, so let's hope that I don't. So we'll start with one of the 13s, and this seems really long, so I'm a little bit nervous, but it's quite a bit longer, and there's much more curl than my natural lash, so this should be interesting. I think I just used a C curl last time with um, silk lashes. So again, you want to dip the adhesive to about here, and then I kind of wipe it on the sides of the little ring. Do you see that? Keep skins away from my eyes. So far, I didn't feel anything and hopefully the air helps it dry faster. And now I'm a little bit scared because this seems really, really long. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do 13. <laughs> okay, change of plans. Going to do a few 13s, mostly 12s, instead of throwing some 14s in there. All right, let's do this. So I think these are actually gonna look pretty cool once they all come together. So I just threw in like four 13s and now I'm starting to work on the 12s. Um, those 13s just seem super long to me that I'm not prepared for. Guys, loving the uh, these mink lashes so far. They're just so soft. I didn't know what I was missing out on. Okay, so dipping the adhesive going in. I'm trying to give you guys a better angle so that you can see. And I use my tweezers to go up a little higher because sometimes I blink while I do this and I lose my single lash. And do the blow. <laughs> so I'm still working on 12s. I actually haven't done any 10s on the outer corner yet. And I'm actually really liking it. How many times did I say actually? I don't know, I'm sorry. Especially when you put one on and it's just crazy long, you're like, oh crap, what did I do? Can you start seeing it come together after you have a few? Okay, 
Well, please be very patient, guys, because sometimes the last one doesn't want to start. Actually, if it takes a little bit longer. No. Okay, guys, still working on the twirls. Yes, this is taking a while. It does. I tell you, one must have patience if you want to even attempt this. You definitely don't want to get started and then stop halfway through you. You could definitely take a break if you need to. But I mean, not stopping completely. Because you just might not be happy with this. And I actually have some place to go tonight. So the time I started this probably wasn't the smartest. I'm all about the challenge, you guys. You can do this. Still have not added any tens. Still working in the middle. And I don't remember having this much last year. I think I'm feeling impatient because I'm expecting it to go faster. Although, given the time, I am going faster than when I first started. And I actually posted that video. So now I just need some more impatient because I feel like I should be done with this. I should be faster. Been trying to work on my skincare. I can't stop picking at my face, and I think this magnifying mirror does not help because it makes me see everything. Sometimes you shouldn't see it. So far, I like the direction we're headed. Definitely going to fill in some more. Isn't it nice? I'm just going to give you that little, little touch of femininity. I don't know why. Whatever. Rock what you got, but I like it. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. I have short hair. This just adds a little something for me that I need.
almost twice as long as this I did. This one I just did it super fast um, because I went again with the primer and the Q-tip. Even better than the Q-tip would be micro brushes. Um, I don't have those, but it won't leave any like cotton from the Q-tip on the brush. So that I also tried to get um, a little bit of a better angle for you guys to see how I apply it. I know it's still really hard to see, but you can get the concept a little bit. Um, these are a lot longer than I did last time, so they're kind of crazy. I'm finding like you can't really touch your eyes, otherwise, you know, they can kind of go different directions. You might have to carry a wand with you at all times, just in case you accidentally rub your eye. I didn't follow my own advice. Um, I got them a little bit wet before the 18 hour mark, so we'll see how it lasts. So far, I really like the Lion Lash. Um, it still says for professional use only, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to say that it's okay to use it on yourself. However, I really like this one a lot better. I know this is up close and personal, but just so you guys can see, there are some, a few wacky ones in here, but I'm just gonna keep them there until I'm ready to remove them. I think it'll look a little bit better once I do a little bit more filling in the inner and outer corners. Okay, so like I said, I didn't get to finish, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the outer corners. I'm going to treat this as if like I were doing my own fill. So I'm doing the prime again, which I mentioned is like I think one of the most important parts because if there is any dirt or especially oils on your lashes, um, the lashes will not stick. I'm going ahead and doing that. And these are a day old now already. Um, like I said, I got them wet before the time that I was supposed to, so some of them may be falling out. Remember, give it like a full, what did I say, 18 to 24 hours or even 12 to 24, I don't know. I got them wet before then. <laughs> so we just had one fall out, which is pretty good. Again, I have my same exact setup. Don't think I'm gonna change it. It's been working for me. The magnifying glass has a suction cup that goes onto my mirror, and from there, I just have my phone <laughs> balancing on the mirror actually with the ring that holds the adhesive on like a little hand tag that creeps over my mirror. So that's my little setup. So you always want to keep your tweezers clean. If there's ever adhesive on it, definitely clean them off. Um, Remove the adhesive remover or rubbing alcohol before it dries to just wipe them down. And it, it takes practice, obviously, like I probably wouldn't put as tall of them right here. I think that was one of the 13 millimeters that I used. And you can kind of see it looks like the same thing with um, this one here. It's just like way too long. I mean, so learning process, but I'm not going to go and pull it off right now. I'm just going to deal with it. I'm actually be able to cut it with some scissors, so maybe I'll do that. Remember, if you can't blow into your own eye, then I suggest getting a fan to be really warm. Also, do not um, bond or put a eyelash onto any baby ones that are barely going out. Give them a chance to grow and to get long and strong. Just get the ones that are fully grown out and where you have a good piece of eyelash. So what I do with my eyelash here, this is how I set up for my adhesive. And again I have this on one hand. So what I will do is let's see if I can get this for ya might be a little unstable. We have to get one lash. Then you go back over here. Dip it. And I just kind of wipe the excess off here. And then I go straight to <laughs> application. Yep. So just a few fill-ins here in this corner. And this one and I feel like that just made all the difference um, in how the lashes look, especially in real life. Hopefully in camera too. So what I was saying, um, 
There are a few long ones, because remember in the beginning you put a few 13 millimeters and you can now see them. So I think if you're going to throw in a few different or longer lashes, you need to use more throughout, not just like three, which I did on both sides. So it's... I don't know if you guys can tell, but just that little fill in for me, like in real life, made such a huge difference. Just more in the corners here. Not too much, but I'm much more happy. <laughs> so again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Be happy to answer. Hopefully I answered more in this one. I realize it's kind of hard to talk and do it at the same time. So I will definitely answer in the comments if you leave me any. And just give me ideas for other things that you would like to see me try. Maybe. Alright, have a good day. Just first on the side. I know when I like to see things, excuse my zit, you know, real life. Um, all angles of things so that I can see the actual outcome.